All right. Well, I've got about two after the hour now, so I'm going to go ahead and get going here. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our informational webinar exploring the recent updates to Gmail. My name is Rob Moore. I am Director of Customer Support here with Sweetbriar. We are your Google Premier Partner. Uh, I am in charge of support as well as some training aspects and putting together these different webinars and things for our clients. Today, we are going to take a brief tour of the new Gmail, beginning with first how to turn it on for your domain, for those of you that have not already, and then for how to activate it for yourself through your Gmail settings once you have activated it and is live. Uh, we're going to examine some of the exciting new features like one-click attachments, snoozing, and fast action buttons. And then we will finish with some upcoming additions like expiring email, security warnings, and AI enhancements. So the new Gmail has been out now for just about a month or so. So some of these features uh, are not actually live yet. So we're going to talk about some of these things that are upcoming. Uh, and then I will also demonstrate uh, a lot of the new features that actually are alive right now. And you can use them uh, actively. <clears throat> so Gmail's new look, if you have had a chance to look at, helps you to get more done. Uh, you can click on attachments like photos without even opening or scrolling through your conversations or your emails. You can use the new snooze button to put off emails that you just can't get to right now or easily access other apps like that you use often like Google Calendar, Tasks, and Keep over on the sidebar. Today's agenda, uh, again, we're going to start with just how do I get there? How do I turn it on? How do I activate? So turning on the new Gmail and then also views for inboxes. Uh, we have a couple different options there. After that, we're going to move into message management and quick reply features. So action buttons, snoozing, the quick reply. Uh, from there, we'll go into improved security. So we have some risky email warnings that you'll start to notice filtering into your Gmails, as well as uh, a really exciting new feature coming up, the confidential mode and expiring email. And then further more things to come, uh, like added apps that they're going to put on that sidebar that we'll look at here in just a moment in your inbox. Uh, they're going to be adding doc sheets and slides, among other things, to that. And then also some AI features that will be coming up, like nudging, priority, and unsubscribe. So first, we are going to look at how do we turn this on. At the conclusion of today's presentation, everyone's going to be getting a copy of the uh, slides that we'll be looking at through this presentation. So there are some clickable links in here. Administrator setup is the first of those. Uh, so from here, you can actually access that. Uh, and we'll take a look at that in just one moment here. And then when you first turn on your uh, new Gmail, you'll be given an option for how you want to view that in your inbox. Uh, and we will examine that as well. And then the last thing we're going to look at here in this first little segment is going to be these quick view attachments that we have now in our inbox uh, that allows us to do more with less clicks. So everyone loves that. Less work. So let's go ahead and take a look at this administrator setup. So if we click right into here, I'm not actually going to demonstrate how to turn this on in the admin because not everyone that's watching today is going to be an admin and have that ability. Um, so for those of you that are admins and haven't had an opportunity to do this, if you scroll through this, this clickable link here for the G Suite blog, you'll see here we have the ability to turn this on in our admin portal. And then further, once that is turned on and activated, each user is actually responsible for going in and making it live in their own inbox. So I'm going to show you actually how to do this piece. Uh, but as far as the administrator piece, for those of you that are administrators and need to know, uh, go ahead and click this link and follow the instructions there. It's just going to be through your uh, apps that you'll be able to activate that. So let's go ahead and jump into our uh, training inbox here so we can take a look here. Once you have this active, uh, you'll notice that this is uh, this training account actually has the new Gmail active right now. Uh, I didn't want to turn that off because it can mess some things up for us. Uh, but I'm going to show you here through your settings. If we click on this little gear over here, once you've made this active in your domain, right here on the top where it says go back to classic Sweet Hills Mail, that is where you will turn on the new Gmail. So if you have not actually activated it yet, when you go into your settings, that first line is going to be where you turn that on. You'll just click that, and it'll actually bring up an option for this display density right here. 
So this displayed identity, if we look at this, this is the default for the new Gmail inbox. When we look at this, you can see the attachments here. This is where you can access the one-click attachments. If you don't activate the default uh, inbox, if you choose to go with comfortable or compact, those will not be available. So something to consider when you're picking your inbox. Comfortable, if you look at that, is going to be very similar to how your inbox looks today if you're using the old Gmail. And then compact, I'll go ahead and actually make this one live for you to see. This will give you a ton of emails on there. So it's going to shrink the size of all your messages so you can have more messages in your inbox at one time. So if you have a ton of email and you want to be able to act or actively get to it all of the time, then the compact view might be your best option. For our purposes today and for the demonstration though, I'm going to go with a default so we can see what these one-click attachments look like. And again, when you first activate that, you will be given that option and you'll get to pick right off the bat. But at any point, if you want to change that, you just come in here to your settings and display density. So if we scroll down, now we're in our default. You can see the attachments as they pop up. We've got different uh, sheets here. We have forms. We have documents. We have Excel. If we click on this, we don't have to open the email or anything, and it's actually going to give us a preview right here. So from here, we can actually see the entire sheet, everything that's on it. This is actually an Excel document here. We've got all of the tabs available to us. And from this location, we can go ahead and either add this to our drive, we can print it, we can download it. So we have all of these abilities with attachments just from uh, the quick button right here on the bottom without ever having to actually go into that email. So especially if you're just going through looking for an attachment, I really like the way that it kind of pops out at you. I'm sure we've all been there where we're looking for one particular attachment and we're just keeping an eye out for the paper clip over here on the side. This makes it a lot easier. And then also this quick preview option is just amazing. So it just pops it right out for us. So coming back into our slides, we've looked at the quick view attachments. The next thing we're going to examine here is the quick access to calendar tasks and keep. And then if you notice underneath those on your right side, you actually have a plus symbol. And that plus symbol, in addition to things that'll be upcoming, uh, just rolled out directly from Google, things like Drive and Docs and access to those things from that side panel, you also have the ability to go into the G Suite Marketplace by clicking that addition sign and then adding different extensions on that you can access right from there. After that, we're going to also take a quick look through our demonstration here at the action buttons, the snoozing and quick reply. So the quick action buttons, you'll notice as we're going through our inbox, and again, I'll demonstrate here in just, just a second, but this is what I'm talking about. As we go over each message, we're going to be given these quick action buttons. So again, without ever having to open the email or even without having to check this box over here, uh, we can do action items on those emails. And then one of uh, everyone's favorites, the new features, as far, uh, as far as the new features are concerned, is the snoozing. Uh, we can snooze messages, which takes them out of our inbox. So out of our thought process, I think, for a little while. And then it'll actually come back into your inbox as a new message at the time that you tell it to. So if you can't get to something now, but it's really important, you want to have that reminder so you can go back to it later. This is going to be why you, or how you do that. So the first thing we're going to look at is our quick buttons. So again, as we highlight over each message, you'll notice that they move along. On each message, we have the option to archive. If you're unfamiliar, archive, if I click this, it's going to take it out of our inbox. So it's no longer here, but it's not gone. If we need to find it, it's going to be in our all mail. So if we open up the all mail label, we will find any messages that we've archived. So that's just a way to declutter our inbox if we need to. If there's something that you want to get rid of, but you don't actually want it gone, you have to be able to access it later. Archive is a wonderful option. We can also trash messages from right here. So without ever having to open it, if you know it's garbage, we can go ahead and just get rid of it. We also have the ability, we have the mark as read or mark as unread. So if there's a message that you've looked at, uh, but you want to make sure and remember it for later, you can go ahead from right here and mark this as unread, and you'll see it goes white uh, and is appearing now as a new message in our inbox. And then last but not least, we have our snooze option. So if we click on snooze, 
you'll see we are given several options. We are given later today. It just picks a random time for us. We have tomorrow. We have this weekend. We have next week. We have someday. Or we can pick a specific date and time to snooze this to. So we could say, well, I don't want to handle this right now. I need to remember it for next week. Monday is a holiday. Let's go ahead and just set it for Monday at 8 a.m. You'll see it disappears from my inbox. Now, if something comes up and you have to go back to that message, uh, maybe some time opens up, you have an hour free and you can handle it today, you can come into your snoozed file right here and you'll see these messages appear. If we click on it, you have the option then to unsnooze the message and bring it back to our inbox. Or of course, you can just view it from right here. You don't actually have to unsnooze it to be able to view the message or anything. But we can go ahead and unsnooze it and it will go right back into our inbox. The next thing we're going to look at is the quick response suggestions. Some of you may have noticed these already popping up. And then I've got a few tricks of the trade that I want to share with you. So let's go ahead and bounce over to our demo box again here. So the first thing I want to show you is the quick reply options. If you haven't noticed those before, uh, when you go into an email, you're going to have some options down here at the bottom. So this afternoon I have some free time. Would you like to grab a bite to eat? It's suggesting automatically, sure, what time? Sure, that would be nice. Or sorry, I can't make it today. If you click on one of these, you'll see it goes ahead and puts the email together for you. So we have a reply line to the sender here. The message automatically inserts itself, and we can send that right out just like that. So we have nice, quick responses available to you uh, for your emails. Now let's take a look at some tricks of the trade. So one of the things that people are wondering about is where are my contacts? There used to be a little tab right here that we could jump into our contacts. You can still access your contacts through the app panel over here on the side if you wish, or if you have quick buttons activated, you can actually just push G and then C and your contacts will open up in a brand new window. So that's a wonderful quick tip to get you through into your contacts. Some people also have some unusual hours. Uh, you may notice with snoozing, sometimes you're given the option of morning, afternoon, and night, or afternoon and night. Um, some people's morning is 8 a.m. Some people's morning is 12. No judgment. Depends on what your life is like, right? So if you need to change that, if you keep these unusual hours, we can actually jump in. If we look over here, we have our different quick buttons for calendar, for keep and for tasks right here. This is that plus where we can add on other extensions. If we click into our keep, we can open it up over here. You get some functionality of it, but if you want the entire keep, you just open it to a new tab. And from the Google Keep tab, if we come down into settings, you will see that lo and behold, we have our morning, afternoon, and evening hours. So if you need to for your calendar or for your snoozing options, you can go ahead and change these. So you could switch your morning to 12 and your afternoon to four and your evening to 10 or whatever you want to do. Click save down here and that will save across the board. So those options will carry with you through your other apps. And last but not least, uh, the tricks of the trade that I wanted to point out here. If you need to add someone to the conversation in the new email, it's as simple as using either an add or a plus in an actual email. So if we compose, we could just come down here and say uh, at Fast Eddie, and you'll see as I start to type, it starts to give me options through my contacts. At this point, we can go ahead and click Fast Eddie, and you'll see that it just goes ahead and puts him directly in to the center line. We can similarly do this with the plus sign. So if we wanted to add somebody, we can do a plus. And again, you'll see that it adds them up here at the top. So we can call people out directly through the email and then have them send in. This is wonderful with conversation threading. If you need to add somebody in real quick, uh, just through the email, you can be conversating and say at whoever uh, and go ahead and add them into the email and they'll receive a copy. Moving through the rest of our slides here now. Now we're gonna be looking at some more of the things that are still coming up. 
So the first things that we're going to look at here are some improved security features. The first is the risky email warnings. So you may have seen this sometimes with some of the spam things, but this is going to become more predominant. Uh, when you get any kind of dangerous message, you'll see this warning here, and you have the ability to just delete it now right from this location. Another really exciting feature, and it's kind of cut out in this image, is going to be this confidential mode. So if we look through into our emails, and we click the Compose button. Down here at the bottom, this is where this is actually going to apply. So like I said, right now it does not exist, but right down here you're going to see like a little clock guy show up and you will click him. Let's go ahead and trash this message. And when you do, you'll be given these options. You'll see recipients will have the option or not have the option to forward email contents. They will not have the option to copy and paste or download or print. So we're going completely confidential here. We can actually set expiration dates, so expires in one week. In one week's time, this message will just vanish from their inbox, and they will no longer have uh, the ability to open it. So if you have confidential emails that you're sending out all of the time, this is going to be a wonderful option for you because, first and foremost, they're not able to do anything with the message other than read it. They cannot forward it, copy, paste, download, or print. And then secondly, uh, on your timeline, when you decide to set the expiration, it simply vanishes. If you're looking for even more security, you'll see here you have the option to require a passcode as well. So we have three different features here, all within one, uh, where you can keep your emails more confidential if you are worried about that kind of security. And then a couple more things that are upcoming. Nudging, they're going to be using the AI features to remind you. So if you have a lot of emails coming in and out of your box all the time, it's very possible that something may slip through the cracks. Um, in the event that this happens, it's going to bring it back up to the top of your inbox and give you these kind of nudges, they're calling them. So this was sent five days ago. Do you want to follow up? This was received three days ago. Do you want to reply? It's kind of like a personal assistant. Hey, don't forget about this one. Another feature I'm really excited about, because I know in my personal life especially, I get myself uh, a lot of newsletters and a lot of advertisements from things that I needed one time in my life and then never again. So AI is coming to the rescue for us here by suggesting things that we may want to unsubscribe from. Uh, once this comes up, if you don't want to be a member anymore, you simply click unsubscribe and it will go through and do all of the work to get you out of those newsletters. So I'm really excited for that feature. A couple suggested readings. If you are interested in looking into some more of the security features or some more detailed information about the security features that are upcoming that I've mentioned here briefly, these are clickable links again. So you can go ahead and click right into the enhanced security and you'll see it takes you over to a Google blog update talking about some of the new smart features uh, that I've talked about here in our informational webinar today. And then beyond that, I've also concluded a link here for getting started, which will take you directly to the G Suite Learning Center. So this is just going to walk you through everything with email or Gmail here. So anything that you want to do, create, send, reply, et cetera, et cetera, organize your box, find your email, create signatures, and then access your calendar notes and tasks. So you have access to all of these, again, directly through this slideshow through these clickable links here on the suggested readings page. All right, and that is everything I have to show you today on the new Gmail. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hang around here for a couple of minutes. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and enter those in to the chat box there, and I will go ahead and answer those. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for your time. We greatly appreciate it here. Uh, we hope you have a great holiday weekend. Okay, so I have a question. When will the confidential piece be released? I am keeping an eye on the blogs, but I don't actually have a rollout date for that. These different pieces, uh, we don't have specific dates for any of them yet. Uh, they're just coming uh, kind of over the next month or two is my best guess. Uh, but we'll be keeping an eye on those updates from Google as well, and we'll certainly let you all know 
uh, anytime we hear anything about those update features being released. You're also able to, if you are an admin on Google, you can sign up for the Google admin blogs, which will give you the update on all of that as well. So uh, if you are an admin and you haven't signed up for those blogs, I would highly recommend that you do so. And when I send out um, the information for this webinar, the slides, I'll go ahead and include that link in there for those of you that can uh, sign up for those because they're super useful if you're an admin. You're welcome. If anyone else has questions, please feel free and enter them in. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, well, I'm not seeing any more questions come in. If anything pops up and you think about it the second you walk out the door, or so often happens, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, you can reach me directly through help desk at sweetbriar.com. And I appreciate your attention today. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great rest of your day.